There's three men up, so there's technically no men. Shalom, you guys. Sorry we're a little bit late. That's my fault. That's me being late. Lazy! I can feel it. It feels so relieving. It's so hot today. Me too, and I can't feel it. You can't feel it? No. Sucks to be you. Hi. Oh, you tortured my mouse? Yes. We found a mouse in the house not that long ago. Mouse in the house. That rhymes. Mouse for sale. I want yeah. it. Just make sure it doesn't have brains. We, we found a mouse in the house and it took, well, it probably took us 10 minutes to catch it. It was underneath the entertainment it center. Amazing. It didn't die, drowned it, and bleached the water. Well, he drowned it in bleached water and then he threw it over the fence or something and then the dogs found another one and dragged it in front of the house. They did? Yeah. Because he said he threw it over the fence, so then how did one end up like right in front of the garage door? That's weird. Like the next morning. So I was like, did you pour this mouse in front of the house? And he's like, mouse house. <laughs> Sorry. I'm um, he's like, no, he didn't. But... Now just stop playing. It's service time. Yes, it's service time. So, yes, so as playing. I get everything all situated, why don't you guys go ahead and... Um, do your introductions. Sit up, please, Ariel. Thank you. So why don't you guys do your introduction and let us know how your week was and let us know why your week was what it was. So if it was bad, I want to know why it was bad. If it was good, I want to know why it was good. Got it? Get it? Got it? Go! OK, we lost another member. What's your name? Ferocious. Ferocious. Okay. And Ferocious, how was your week? Ferocious. The week was ferocious. And Ferocious, why was your week ferocious? Because. Can you speak louder so they can hear you? It's because I got some new Jordan. Uh, I'll just... I didn't say Jordan. This is Wardens. No, it's Jordan. They say Jordans, but they're not really Jordans. The Hara, stop. They're Jordans. They're Floridans. And when my sister is drinking wine, I just they're some bootleg Jordans. <laughs> yeah, they're bootleg Jordans. They're bleach Jordans. So they got they got a guy. He's not dunking. He's like he's like this. He's swimming. I don't know. Like what type my of basketball was... player plays basketball? Um, what was it called? Can you get those shoes off the table? So you're telling the whole world that you're abusing your little sister? That's what is that what you guys heard? That's what I heard. I heard no, I wasn't you guys, I want you to know I got new shoes and I took my new shoes that the Almighty blessed me with to abuse my little sister. I wasn't abusing my little sister. I was you, you I hear? was making her teach her lesson. So Is she the fans bothering you? Yeah. I was making yes, her learn is. her lesson from saying, it was only about 200 times. 
Sorry. And then my brother and me was slapping each other in my shoes. So what I heard again is I need you to take my shoes away from me because I'm being irresponsible with them and beating people with my shoes. Can I, can I start but if I were to beat them with the shoes, then y'all would be trying trying to call CPS on me because I'm beating them with the shoes. I'm gonna beat you with the shoes. Kawhi took the shoe from Lava. No, he somehow he got off my foot and Kawhi kept taking You're it. Trying and to then, hit me with it. No, you started and you took it and then you I started. Grabbed, you didn't and give then, me it, drugs. No, we started it with the root. Oh, okay. Off. Moving right along. Thank you so much. Uh, what's your, uh, stop it. What's your name? Nope, not gonna do that. What's your name? Thank you, Kamari, for coming to class today. Shadow. Shadow. Speak up. Can you guys hear them? Shadow. Let me know in the comments if you can't hear them. Shadow. I can barely hear them. And I'm Shadow. sitting next. Shadow. So, Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. How was your week? My name's just Shadow. Okay, my name's just Shadow. How was your week? Shadow. Shadow. How was your week? Shadow. Your week was a shadow. Okay. We'll be right along. And little girl at the end who has the magnets in her hand, what's your name? Apple Blossom, can you speak up, Apple Blossom? How was your week, Apple Blossom? Good. Why was your week good, Apple Blossom? Because I got to play with my sister, I got to play with my brother, I got to play with my sister. Oh, yeah, I got to play my whole entire family. Oh, you have to play with your whole entire family. Do you love your family? Yeah. Okay, and the cute little girl at the end in the pink, what's your name? You're a girl. Okay, what's your name, girl? Uh, yeah. Okay, girl. That's okay. That's your name. And how was your week, girl? Uh, okay, your week was good or was it bad? Yeah. Your week was bad. What happened, girl? Tell me. Why was your week bad? Nova! Nova hit you! Oh no! Somebody Did she say sorry? Somebody snitching. Maybe I should stop it. Did she say sorry? Okay, okay. You guys, it's okay. She said sorry. So, you know, so if you hit somebody, you just gotta apologize. All right. And my name is Teacher Katura, and welcome to the Mini Saints. I hope you guys had a great week. So, uh, this week, I hope you guys are focused because we've been talking about being attentive, or being sorry, being intentional about our walk, right? So I hope you guys are focused on being good little boys and girls this week and listening to your mommies and daddies. Was everybody listening this week? Yes. Were you listening this week, little girl? No. Girl. Hey, girl. Were you listening this week? <laughs> okay. Were you guys listening this week to your mommies and daddies? I hope you were. Because if you weren't, try again next week, right? And were you also listening to the Most High? Who's listening to the Most High? Raise your hand. Were you listening to the Most High? Sassy is right there. Uh, Ma'am, can you please sit down? Thank you. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Please have a seat. So before we do our scripture memory, I want to share something. Um, I want to start. I want you to share something that you did this week that made the Most High happy. Oh, that doesn't make the most high happy. What did you do that made the most high happy? How did you keep his commandments? How did you do something that he would be like, that's my daughter? I know. What did you do this week? I smiled at him. You smiled at him? That's cute. She moves her chair back. But my, you're, you, the, okay, you can still do that. Oh my goodness gracious, God the Almighty. Okay, what did you guys do this week that made the most unhappy? Yes, baby. Okay. Thank you for sharing. What did you guys do this week? You guys don't know anything that you did this week? I what did you do? listen to my mother. Okay, so what what how is that making the most unhappy? Because the command says honor your mother and father and mother and mother. Good job. And which one is that? I the fifth commandment. I didn't say anything. You said silence. 
<laughs> yes. He looked at the commandments behind him. Okay, Bill, what did you do this week? To make the, are you looking at a commandment to get an idea? What did you guys, you guys should know? I, I know about I, the commandments. I already told my dad. I don't know what she's doing. What did you, did you do something this week that would make the most happy? I was my sister Okay, so that, that, that's good. He, I made, I made corn cakes. And so instead of just eating it himself, he went and let his sisters know so that they could participate in eating my corn cake. It's supposed to go with my greens. But you know what? We're not going to go there. We're all going to share because sharing is caring unless you have greens and corn cakes. Yes, Napa. Right. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys about my week. So yesterday was Friday. Yeah. Yesterday, I got a ticket because I was honest. And you know what? I'm okay with that because I'd rather get a ticket and go to the kingdom than lie and go to the lake of fire. How do you get a ticket? So I got a ticket because Belize has got a bunch of things that are backwards. So a U.S. driver's license is valid here. But they say a U.S. driver's license is only valid here for one year, which doesn't make sense because they will only give you a Belizean driver's license if you have status. So you either need a work permit, a volunteer permit, permanent residency, QRP, which is for retired, qualified retiree persons, right? So that's the only way they will give you a Belizean driver's license. If you go down there and try and get a driver's license at the low Belizean DMV, they will tell you, no, no, no. Well, we had, we had um, volunteer permits, and so I was able to get me a Belizean driver's license, which expired like during the whole COVID thing, and I was like, I don't care. It only lasts one year. I'm not going to pay $60 for something that lasts a year when I really don't need it because I have my own driver's license. So the guy asked me for my driver's license. I gave it to him. Then he's like, how long have you been here? Then he asked me that Belizean driver's license, and I gave it to him. And he asked me how long I've been here. I said five years. And he's like, well, you're supposed to have a regular license. I'm like, this one's valid. Yada, yada, yada. Long story short, they were like, you're supposed to have a license. And I was like, well, I don't. And I was honest with you. He's like, I don't care. You're still going to get a ticket. I said, I don't care. Pretty much. And he tried to say that, he tried to say that, because um, I was like, I could have just showed you my license and told you that I had been here for three months. And he's like, I would have asked you for proof. And I said, nobody carries their passport on them. And he's like, if an immigration officer asked you, and I was like, I've never run into immigration officer, nor have I ever been asked to produce my passport on the street. Nobody carries a passport. And I was like, and if you were to ask me right now to show you proof of how long I've been here, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I was like, I could have simply lied to you and you wouldn't have known any different, but he didn't care. But anyways, like I said, I told the truth and I was honest and I got a ticket. I don't really care. You want to see my ticket? It's a pink piece of paper that says you owe me $50 because you don't have no stupid police and driver's license. I want to see it. Okay, I'll show you guys that. All right. So that's my story of how I made the most high happy because I would rather make the people in this world upset. I'd rather make my husband upset and my mom upset and my friends upset than to make the most high upset. So I was honest, even to my own heart. And that's what the Bible tells us too, is to be honest, even if it hurts us. Always be honest, right? So now we're going to do our social remembrance. I hope you guys did your scripture remembrance this week and you memorized the scripture, which is, what is it? Matthew 6 and 24. Matthew 6 and 24. Matthew 6 and 24. Matthew 6 and 24. Hope you remember, stand up on the floor. Let's go. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. Either he will hate one or love the other. Uh, Wait. Right. Either, either he hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God, man. Yay! You did it! Woo! I did You ready? Get up, get on the 
fine. Can you hear me? Okay. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Follow my internet. Well, Aria, where are you going to get the girls' water from? I'm looking for the cup. In the veranda? Okay. So, good, good job. No, because I already said get water. You want new water? Okay, pour it out. Here, pour it out the first one. All right, stop, please stop tapping on the table. Okay, super thirsty. You should have got super thirsty water when I told you to get super thirsty water before we came to class because it was super hot. All right. Did you say that? So, when we're getting ready for class, can I say that? Okay, so last week. What is your problem, little girl? Daddy! I don't know why you put that there like that. Well, now you don't get any water. You know, man, that was not nice. Why did you do that? You need to go to timeout? Don't be rude. Girl, go get a towel. All right. So last week, it's okay. Just sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. Okay. So last week, we, oh, before we started today, we will be doing, because um, they're actually going to need it before. So... We're going to be making bookmarks with some of the scriptures that we're going to be talking about today. So in the comments is the um, link to the digital download. So go ahead and download this and print it out for your mini saints so they can uh, color and have their own bookmark. Stop fighting with each other now. No excuses. You are going to go to timeout. Yes, you are. All right. So um, last week we talked about the parable of the rich man, and I thought it would be a good idea to revisit another parable for this week about the poor man. Nope, this week we're not going to talk about the poor man. This week we're going to talk about what is a parable. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, I so, really know what a parable is. So then tell me, what is a parable? A parable is, um, okay, it's yeah. Making a story in the natural, that way we could understand it better. You're going to leave. Would you like a snack? Okay. Then ask for a snack and stop screaming. Do you understand me? Say, Mommy, snack, please. Oh, can you go with some pretzels? Okay, so this the story that y'all You made. don't want pretzels? What do you want? What do you want? Yogurt? You can't have any yogurt right now. Crackers. Crackers? Okay, can you give it a mask up? Open it. Too. Here, take that because you're going to go down to class. You guys are going to need just a strip of paper for a bookmark for now, and then we'll create our other bookmarks at the end. Okay. And yes, that is correct, Mari. A parable is uh, something the Almighty is explaining to us in the natural to help us understand the spiritual or things or uh yeah, to help us understand the spiritual. The spiritual. So, do you guys know of any parables? Um, well, that's the rich man and the poor man. Or the okay. rich man. So, can you guys think of any other parables? Ah, 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 ah. Which parable do you know? Uh, wait, no, I wait, wait, the one dad read today. Uh, it was about the unprofitable series. Unprofitable servant. Yep, that was, that's, that was not yours. So yes, the unprofitable servant. Hey, Aurelia. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Aurelia. Oh, the, the the prodigal son. Yes, that's another one. Aurelius, what's your name this week? Mr. Frontman. That's not what he said. His name is Shadow. 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 That's not my name. Okay, so that's that's great. You guys listed two different parables. The rich, not the rich man, but um, the unprofitable servant 
and the parable of the prodigal son. Perfect. All right. So this week's parable is important to pay attention to because a lot of people are going to find themselves in this exact situation when either they die or the Most High comes back to collect his things. This week, we're going to talk about the parable of the faithful and wicked servant. Which servant do you guys want to be? Faithful. Ariel says she wants to be wicked. Faithful. Nala says she wants to be faithful. No, she says she wants to be faithful. I say grateful. Grateful? Well, we, the options were faithful and wicked. She doesn't need it. Do you want to be faithful or do you want to be the wicked servant? Faithful. Faithful? What about you guys? Do you want to be the faithful or the wicked servant? <laughs> Shadow, shadow, shadow. What do you want to be? You want to be faithful? What did you say? I'm sorry. I want to be Speak up. I, I want to be faithful, but I'm pretty dark. What does faithful have to do with anything? Because shadows are dark. Nothing has nothing to do with anything. Mr. Mr. Aurelius, what would you want to be? All right. So for those of you guys who said faithful, does being faithful start tomorrow? Or does it start in three years? Does being faithful start when you're grown or does it start today? All right. Um, Ferocious says today. Novel, I mean, uh, um, Apple Blossom, when do you start being faithful? Faithful means like when you start being good. Uh, you start, can you I was faithful good is good to yeah. You're faithful to y'all? Good. All right. Mr. Shadow, 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 when are you faithful? When do you start being faithful? When you get baptized, you're going to wait till you're baptized to be faithful? Isn't that when you can be faithful? You can be faithful whenever you're ready to be faithful. Whenever? Whenever. Today. So uh, Aurelius said his name is T, or he said, walk, 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 and he said he wants to be faithful, and he said it starts right now. That's right, Aurelius. I don't know why it doesn't show me the comments when I'm inside of here. Okay, there we go. Now I see the comments. All right. So let's go to Hebrews 3 and 15. Where's Hebrews? Hebrews is in the Bible. You don't need your bookmark right now. There. Stop it, Ariel. Okay, go ahead and read. Shadow, 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 shadow. While it's while it is said today, if ye will hear the voice, harden not your heart in the as in as in the provocation. The provocation. Right. I do not want that in your mouth. Right. And it says if you will hear his voice. Who's the who's the his? Yeah. Yeah, right. So right. you will hear Yah's voice, right? Harden not your hearts. So let's go with Matthew, which is our parable, 24, and we're going to read 45 to 51, and we're going to do some popcorn reading. So we're going to take 24, 55. 24, 45, there. 51. It's okay, we're going to take turns reading. So, it's not a so go ahead and you read uh, verse 45. It doesn't matter. You just read. We're going to take turns reading. Did you not hear me say that? Did you not hear me say that? I heard, I it. heard it. You I, heard it. Thank I you. I heard it. Okay, go ahead and read. Who then is faithful and, and wise servant? Ye his Lord have made ruler over the household to give some meat and do season. I was watching on so I read that back. Yes. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat and due season. So we know that this should be our goal. Every day, we should be striving to be called what? Good and faithful servant. Faithful, good and faithful servant. The faithful shall inherit the earth. Okay, go ahead and read verse 46. Um, shout, shout, shout. 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. What do you think he was doing? He's faithful. So what do you guys think he was doing? He's being faithful. Okay, yes. 47. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over his goods. Right. So this master, he comes back 
and he finds his servant doing what he asked him to do. And when he finds his servant doing the right thing, he shall make his servant ruler over all of his goods. This is the same as if your mom or dad left home and they gave you some instructions to follow and some things to be done while they were away. What are some things or instructions or chores our heavenly father has left for us to do until he comes back? And this kind of touches on what uh, your dad taught on today about the unprofitable servant, right? Hey, you because, you no, know, we're not, I'm not teaching on unprofitable servants. It's just kind of touches on it, right? So in my husband's lesson today, he was talking about the unprofitable servant. It's one that just does what he's told, which is keep the commandments and read your Bible. But that doesn't benefit anybody. A profitable servant would do if the heavenly father I was having my chill. If the heavenly father left, which he did leave, and the instructions are towards he left for. So go ahead. Um So what are what are some things specifically, shadow, 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 instructions, or what are some chores the Almighty has left? Because he's our heavenly father, right? So what are some chores he has left for us to do? Um, protect yourselves and bring people to his Okay. So how do you how do you can you please just leave it alone? like feeling of paper. I like, I just like it. I like the feeling of paper. Love it. Yes. He's the one that eats paper, so maybe he Right. So, Ken, how do you bring somebody to the kingdom? Do you just be like, come to the kingdom? <laughs> how do you bring somebody to the kingdom? You start preaching and you'll be like, uh, the Lord will soon come. You must be become a part of my congregation to be a part of this wonderful heaven and earth. Okay, so preaching is one way. What's another way you can help people make it to the kingdom? Fellowshipping. Yeah, you already said that one. So what's something else? Question. Stop being antagonistic. Yes. What's something else that you can do to help bring people to the kingdom since you got so much to say? Um, do you guys have something? Aurelius, what would you do to help bring somebody to the kingdom? Um, I like singing, um, showing feeding the homeless, doing good deeds in front of them, calling them to start, calling, calling them to barbecues and then like trick them into coming to service at the same time. You threw your water on the floor. Get your cup and get you some water. Oh, take it down so she can get it. Just put it on her high chair. You can't really get out that way. Yeah. All right, she can't get out either way. She's stuck on both sides. I'm gonna go back and see if Aurelia's comments. If you can yeah, I, just, I, I am a good Okay, so we could fellowship, right? Be the light of the world, um, invite people to barbecues, feed the homeless. Those are all good ways for us to help show people the, the ways of the Almighty and help them to want to come and serve Him, right? Uh, let's go with verse 48. So we're still in Matthew chapter 24, verse 48. Whose turn is it to read? Mine. No, it's Kamara's turn. 24. Four, no, you're in 24, verse 48. Oh, 48. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, Verse 49. And shall begin to smite his fellow serpent and eat and drink with the drunken. Okay, so this is where so many people, so, 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 so many people are going to slip up. But not us, right? We're not going to slip up, right? Because we're going to be faithful servants? No, because my scripture memory says, when the storm has swept by, the wicked are joined. 
What? Where the righteous stand firm. Okay. That's right. We're going to be the righteous. We're going to be the faithful. So we're not going to get caught like these people, right? Um, Because we read our Bible and we come to our mini tank lessons and we learn about how to be ambassadors to Christ. So many people are going to say, well, the Almighty hasn't come back in a long time. And, you know, all these things are happening and I still haven't seen him. So I'm going to play a little bit. Just like a child that's left at home, they start to get distracted by things. They sit down and they watch some TV. They play some video games. They start talking to their friends on the phone. And before you know it, they forgot what their parents asked them to do. And I know when I was a teenager, I got caught up with that. Because your parents would be like, I want you to clean the kitchen and I want you to clean the bathroom. And then I'll be like, okay. And I'll walk out the door and I'll sit down. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh, I got time. She said she was going to the grocery store. I know when she goes to the grocery store, she goes to Food for Less, she goes to the commissary, and she goes to Sam's Club. And I know that's going to take her four hours. So I have time. And I sit down and I start doing something else. And next thing you know, I hear, and it's her keys in the door. Now she's home, and I haven't done anything that she's asked me to do. And now I'm going to get hit with one of Ariel's pink Jordan shoes. That's exactly it. You know? No. What, baby? You have to wait, okay? Just wait a minute. You wait. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it, girl. Oh, you'll be all right. Right? So that's not the way. That's not the way that we want to be with the Most High, right? This is why so many people don't serve the Most High or they serve him like lukewarmly because they think that they have time. But like we read in Hebrews 13, 5, the day you hear my voice, what are you supposed to do? Harden not, not your heart. Harden not your heart, Wait, right? They're, if they're lukewarm, no one can serve That's right. You can't serve two masters, but that's what they're doing because they think they have time. They think like, oh, well, I can play today. I can lie a little bit today. I can sin a little bit today because the Almighty's not coming back here. But who knows when they're going to die? Tell me. You know when you're going to Stop it. Let do you know when you're going to die? Unless you killed yourself. Do you know, unless you killed yourself, would you already know you'd be going to light the fire if you killed yourself, because that's murder, and you can't repent from it, right? Zazie, you know when you're going to die? When are you going to die, Zazie? Nava hits you. Okay, so Nava don't hit her, because that's when she's going to die. Mom, I have, I have a question. Yes. So, would it be called suicide? And would y'all be mad at you if you walked into the street while the light was passing by and it hit you? And it killed you. Would you be Well, I think plenty of people have walked in the street and got hit by cars and died. But y'all yeah, know the tension in my heart. So if you sat there and said, I want to kill myself, I'm going to walk into the street and get hit by a car, then that would still be suicide because you intentionally killed yourself. You just let other somebody else do it, right? Versus you have. Yeah, well, would they get in trouble too? Um, I think it kind of depends on the situation, right? If they had enough time to react and then they still hit you. Because sometimes people are driving on their cell phones, which I never do. I never text and drive. <laughs> he was just talking to me about that the other day. That's why I said that. So some people like texting and driving and somebody walks in the street and then they hit them, but they had enough time to respond. But because they were on their phone and they were distracted, they didn't see the person. So they were probably getting in trouble. But if you're just driving down the expressway and somebody darts into the expressway and you hit them, like, there's no way you could have responded. I'm going 70, 60, 70 miles an hour. Like, I can't stop. So in that kind of situation, no, you wouldn't get in trouble. But you would screw up your phone. Okay. So now you're going to put your bookmark here. Put your bookmark there. And I want you guys to go to Luke chapter 21, verse 34. Tomorrow you have to stick your bookmark out at the top. That way you don't know what's that. Luke chapter 1. 21, verse 34. <laughs> right. Now look, she's beating me because you let her read for me. Do you guys think that she is beating him because I let her read for him? Uh -huh. Can you keep your big old head to yourself? <laughs> Okay, go ahead and read. We have more than one verse. Read 34, Ariel. Wait, what? Shh. And take the key to yourselves. 
Take heed to yourselves. Come on, read it like you got some yeah. unk behind it. Bless at any time your heart. Okay, I'm gonna have him read. Okay, no. you get it. Now read and take heed to yourselves. Bless. Come on, be quiet. Now, where was I? Read it all over again. Read it all over again. And read it like you have some unction. And take heed to yourselves. Let it at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering. Superfuting. Superfuting. And drunkenness. Wait. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Uh huh. Drunkenness. And cares over this life. And so that. They come, wait, upon you, upon your unawares. Unawares, right? So take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with superfeeding and drunkenness and the cares of this world, so that they come upon you unawares. What day are we talking about? Revelation. We're talking about the day of the Almighty, right? Or you're the day that you die, right? You're caught up in the world, right? 35, come on. For the set, uh, for as a snarl, snare, snare, shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the earth. Right? So a snare is a trap. So like a trap is going to come on all the people that dwell on the face of the whole world. Because are most of the people serving the most high? No, they're not, right? They're drunk and they're caught up with the cares of this world, right? Verse 36. What? Watch ye, wait, yeah. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may have that ye may account, be accounted accounted worthy to escape all of these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Yah. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Yes, the Son of Yah. I said it was all happening to take a breath again. Good job. Right. So this is an example. Luke twenty one and thirty four is an example. Hey. Thank you. So Luke 21 and 34 is an example of how everybody's going to get caught up, right? The same parable of people not paying attention. They're the wicked servant. They're beating people. They're drunk. They're doing whatever they want to do because they think they have time. But like a what is going to trap them? A snare. A snare, right? Like a snare is going to trap everybody who's not paying attention. So it says, uh, Pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all the things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Okay, now let's go back to Matthew 24. Go back to your bookmark. Remember I said put a bookmark there? That way it's easy to get back there. Back to Matthew 24. We're on verse 50. Go ahead and start off on verse 50, please. Um, shadow, 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 shadow. Okay. Girl, sit up. Sit down. Look, you more irritable than a pregnant woman in the summer. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. So, the, the, the Lord of the, the, that servant shall come in the day when he's not looking for him and in the, an hour that he is not aware of. Right, so remember we're talking about the wicked servant. He was, uh, I'll jump back up and I'll read 49. Uh, no, 30, 48. And, but if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and eat and drink and, with the drunken, right? So he's eating and drinking, he's drunk. And then it says in verse 50 that the Lord of the servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and an hour when he's not aware, right? Because it's that trap. It's like when your mom comes home and you didn't do everything you're supposed to do, she asked you to do because you were playing around. Verse 51. And shall cut him asunder and appoint mm -hmm. him and his portion. Portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gashing of the teeth. And gnashing of teeth. And where will the weeping and gnashing of the teeth be taking place? H -E -L -L. Mr. T, do you know Mr. T? And, and she said, Ariel said, an H E L L. That is correct. Who wants to have their teeth gnashed? And who wants to be weeping? Not me. Let's go to uh, let's go to Matthew chapter thirteen, verse four. Oh, I was literally just right there. Thirteen, verse forty. Thirteen, verse forty. 
Yeah. She was quiet. Go ahead. As there were the tears are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be the end of this work. Uh, I think it's going to be a big pool of fire. You're going 41. The Son of Man shall ascend forth angels, and they shall gather out his kingdom all the things of them which do iniquity. Keep on. And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of the teeth. There shall the righteous. No, nope, nope, that's it. So there shall be wailing or weeping and gnashing of teeth, right? So no one wants to go there. So we should all be working to be the faithful servant, or should we be working to be the wicked servant? Faithful. Faithful servant. I'm going to ask my initial question again. Does being faithful start today? Does it start tomorrow? One, two, three. And three yeah. years? When you're grown or when you're baptized? When does being right faithful now. start? Right yeah. now. This because second. Of, right this second. Because the day you hear my voice, or I'm not your because I could right now, I could get up and I could walk. I could be drinking in my cup and I can have a straw that's fixated and I can trip and my straw can jam into my skull and I can die right this second. But what if I wasn't being faithful? You never know when it's your time to go. And that's what we also have to remember. They have a saying that says, live today like it's your last day because you never know when it's your time. And so because of that, if we don't want to get caught up like a trap, like a snare, then we have to be faithful every single day so this week if you didn't have anything to share about something that you did that made the most high happy i want you to work diligently to do something that is pleasing in the eyes of the most high right everybody's gonna work on that and our scripture for today is going to be hebrews 3 and 15. while it is said today if you hear the voice harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation should. She's going to be Miss Tatiana. Oh, thank you, baby. She's cute. She's cute. I like Miss Tatiana. Hebrews what? Hebrews 13 and 15. Mom, it's funny that I call my teacher mom and I call you Miss Tatiani. I'm okay with that. All right. Um, 13 what? Um, Third, 3 and 15. It lasts like 10 minutes. My cat messing with me. Stop on my feet. I'm going to go on for it. But so you need to tell me that by, by him, therefore, let us offer sacrifices. No, 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 no. no Hebrews no, 13, 15. That's Hebrews me. 3 and 15. Oh, three. Huh. All right. So, again, in the comments, not in the comments, sorry. In the um, well, in the description. Said. Sir, we have already read it multiple times today. Read it to yourself quietly and get ready for our project. I know. I'm trying to get some research to do Okay, but you can do that later. Right now, we're doing something else and you're being rude because I'm trying to talk to them. Oh. All right. So, like I said, in the description is the digital download for today. They are bookmarks that I made. Please don't resell them. Um, they are mine, and that wouldn't be very nice. But anyways, so um, go ahead and print this out. Download it. Print it out. Um, and then you have options of three different um, three different bookmarks, and they all have to do with the scriptures we talked about today: Matthew twenty five, twenty done, twenty one. Well done, that good and faithful servant. Hebrews 3 and 15. We have today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find him doing. And Matthew 22, 37. Thou shalt love the Lord thy Yah with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. So print it out and then color it before you cut it. Unless you have multiple children and then I guess you have to cut it and then it just has to make it harder for them. But I'm going to show you guys a trick because... If you have cardstock, you can print it on cardstock. Okay, print it on cardstock. But another way, if you don't, you can just print it on paper and then you can put it. Hey, stop, please. Let it go. Then you can glue it to cardstock. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I only need one pair of scissors because I'm going to be cutting them out tomorrow. Which one do you want? What do you want? What? Okay. No. No, but which one do you want? Which one? That one? Okay. Which one do you want? You want this one, Nala? Yeah. Okay, so who's going to be nice? I'm going to be nice. 
you know, let Ariel have it. Well, I'm gonna give it to you because Ariel claimed it at first, and then you were not being nice. So I'm gonna let you have it. So here I am. I'm just gonna cut all these out. There's dashed lines to show you where to cut them. You can cut them closer if you want. I, for mine, I'm gonna actually cut mine closer because then I'm gonna glue mine on this cardstock when I'm done with it. Alright, I can go to her room. Can you tell Kamari something what? He didn't say anything. He just said Ario said. And I didn't print that. Okay, you'll get over it. He didn't say anything wrong. And mom, this is how much colors I love. Those are all the colors you love? I love, I have more of them. The Bible tells us, let every man look on the things of others. You were not looking on the things of others. Because as soon as you saw it, you said, I want this one. With no care for what somebody else may want. I want this one. You want this one? Okay. You still want something I'll give it to you. I want this one. The hardest one sit right here and color this one. Come on, cousin. You want to color this one? You gonna color that Sahara? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. And let the coloring begin. If you don't color, you gotta color. You can Do you guys want to see your cranky face? I don't want to see your cranky face. Okay. Well, it looks like you got a cranky face to me. You guys can put your Bibles away. Mom, I don't have to use my pencils. No, as long as you use your pencils, thank you for letting Zazie use your pencils. I appreciate that. I don't even matter if she breaks them. She's just a face. Mm -hmm. So it says there's an ownership link that was added. I don't know how somebody added an ownership link to my stuff. That's weird. I don't know how somebody can do that. Don't click the ownership link. The following actions were applied to your video by because it may contain 52 seconds of, of content they own. That's a lie. Who lied to my mom? Nobody lied to my mom. She's our mom. No, it's saying that there's content that belongs to somebody else, but there is no content that belongs to anybody else in here. What It means that they're saying that I said something that belongs to somebody else, but nothing that I said belongs to anybody. What? Saying a content or a song or something, but there was no song. I love the post at the beginning. Remove the video from your post. You believe you own the rights this content or have permission to use it. I don't know if remove the video from your con from your post is remove my video or remove there, but I don't know. I have a question. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, what do you think the chocolate? I don't. I don't know. There's nothing in there that belongs to anybody. Maybe somebody could have put a song. Maybe somebody uh, while we were doing service, somebody at, um animated it. What about the Facebook song? But nothing in here, everything, did I say anything? There was nothing in here that I said that belonged to anybody. Oh, yo, she's, you know that. Can you move over? Can you guys please put the Bibles up like I said? You didn't even put the Bible up. <laughs> hey, let's go. Do it right. I did. Why are you doing Kamari Angelo Simon. Mom, 
No, you put it down yet. Yeah, 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 Evil. You're evil. I'm not evil. You're evil. You said you wanted to put it somewhere and make it color. I love your beautiful flowers. That was not nice. It was totally in the first Looking at my shelf right now. Hey. Hey. You know what? The both of you guys are misbehaving right now. And I don't appreciate it. Did you just take my sharpener? Were you using the sharpener? Can she use the sharpener? Can she use the expert? Can I use the sharpener? Yes, please. And now you drop it. because you're. No. It's my personal property. You don't even have a house. House. That's crazy that they're just going around adding their stuff to people's content on their videos. What? Look at this Satan. So they're just going around and they're adding, they're adding stuff. Like they added their own like little link or whatever to my video. It's crazy. They add their own link. Yeah, so they did. They added like their own link to my video. What did they? Add? I don't know. Just as a link, it says go to whatever site or page or whatever. But I'm not gonna go to it. Daddy, it says all for you. Over here. What? And you want to have words. What'd you say, Kamari? Is it six for you to go? No, it just it just has like this little link or whatever. That's just messed up. It is messed up. So you just gonna stop using Streamer? I don't I don't think it has anything to do with Streamer. It's from Facebook. Wait, but Streamer is connected to Facebook. Well, I link my face my video from Streamer to my Facebook, so I don't know what it's doing. Either way, they need to fix it. That's not cool. What's wrong? Are you sharing with Nala? Oh, yeah. Did you just give me a shirt? Do you look at my shirt? I don't know how to share it. Zahara, are you sharing? Dude, I know what you did. You keep turning it. Why do you do that? Can you guys color? Yes. Tamara, you have colored nothing. Tamara, she has to keep asking every single time she wants to use it. <laughs> yes. I said work on doing something that's going to make the Almighty happy. You are failing miserably right now. You are not being a very nice person. Are you yeah, just not being a very nice, nice person? We're just taking something on somebody's per person. Right. We are all sharing. Just like had you not brought out your pencils, she would have let you use your pencils, and she wouldn't have made you ask every single time you want to pick up a new pencil. And she has done that in the past. And what did I tell her? That's not nice. Yeah. That's nice, Nava. See, Nava's being nice because Nava's a good and faithful servant. I don't know about these other two. I, I was being good. I didn't even make him steal your stuff off the people's personal property. You call that good. Call that good. I'm going to fire both of you guys in a minute. Yay! Only fire him, not me. I'm firing both of you guys. Yay! Should I fire Mr. T? Should I fire them both? No. Mr. They, T won't. Only fire Kamari. Mr. T is righteous, and Mr. T's gonna file the unrighteous. Fire the unrighteous. Go to court. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all is your future's old. This is so cute with slender. Bro, what is going on? What? Okay. Okay, that's what's wrong. Yeah, man, she ain't righteous. Ma'am, please get on the table. So she ain't righteous either. I, I, mean, I don't have cocaine. It's just that I love my green. Just the color. How it looks. How just the color you know. of it. Yeah, and it just amazes me. Yeah, 
Yes, ma'am. What's wrong? You want pretzels or paste it that way? Yes. No, ma'am. I'll give you pretzels in a minute, but you're going to wait. Yeah, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Shh. What's so funny? I'm not talking. I'm talking to Zara. Can you no, I'm not gonna talk to you because you guys are being nice. I mean, nasty to each other. What was I doing? Get down. No, get down, get down, get down. What was I doing? Still Kamari. And Stop sprechening the English. Don't sprechen the Chinese. Don't sprechen the Spanish. Don't sprechen the Dutch. Don't sprechen the French. Don't sprechen the nothing. On The nothing. Sprechen the nothing. Oh, you're done? Show them. Show them your beautiful bookmark. Don't spreken Z German. You're spreken though. Because I'm not being mean and neither is Nava. I'm not being mean. Sounds. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's I got. Like no, ma'am. This is mine. Can I, can I ah! spreken the Italian? Be quiet in color. I am there, yeah. Be quiet. Stay right. right Y'all, these kids are being bad today. <laughs> what about me? I'm going to beat them with Ariel's pink. You're going to be the only one that's going to get a treat because they're being bad. I, I wasn't talking. They're being bad. They're not going to get a treat today. What was I doing? I was just, uh, I just had my mouth because. I did that. I said you're being bad. That's what you did. You keep asking what you did, but I've been telling you the whole time. You want to show them? Go show them. Okay. Finish. Okay. Uh, go put the corn cakes in. Thank you. Can I finish coloring it? Can you stop, please? What? What up? Wait, so, Mom, so what about the song thing? So, what did they say about the song? They didn't say what it was. They just said that somebody said that I have copyright infringement, so they added a link to my video, which I don't appreciate. Mm -hmm. We're going to find them and lash it, put them in the head. Did it say which song That's it not was? Me. No, they didn't say it was a song. They didn't say it was anything. So they just said that somebody said they copyright. Yeah, that I had copyright infringement. Stop that. Yeah, nobody can say that. That's exactly my point. Zazie, no! Like, Ooh. somebody could just make up that song at home and now they can say, say. No. And who's watching that video that would even do that? It's some algorithm thing. It's algorithm. It's like a computer that's picking up something. Yeah, I'm using paint. No, no. It's stupid. Whatever it is, it's stupid, and I hope it doesn't. Oh, Zazie. Oh, Nava. Neither one of you guys are helping me. Oh, what's I say? This looks like green and not more. What they said? She accidentally hit my phone and needed to do something. Zazie, get down, please. Nava, why don't you and Zazie complain on Yeah. How about this? You guys go clean the room. How about this? Get off my lap. It's gonna be harder. Go to puzzles. Can I finish? I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. And I'm gonna cut the edge off of mine, and then I'm going to glue mine to the cardstock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I glue mine? Yes, you can too. Let me glue it up there because I'm gonna do it so that there's a border around the outside. It's gonna look so pretty full when we're done. No questions. No questions. No, it's about, um, my it's my about your voice. My bookmark. Yes, yeah, what about your bookmark? Are you going to use it? Is it just like for the project, our project? Uh, well, you can use it for whatever. You can use it in your school books. You can use it. Stop! 
I would Touch never it. use this for my school books. They would exterminate it. You can use it at home. Okay, what happened? Can you have what happened to my this? Okay, it sounds like it sounds as in. Can you come by? Yes. Watch out, Sazi. Zahara, please stop touching. Go, go sit down. Go, go sit down. I'm going to show you this picture. I'm going to show you this picture. It's going to look like you can use that. You can use it in your RB and your RBR. RBNB, CTNT, LDNB. What does what this space look like? Like I can barely see it because it's too dark? No, it looks like the guy from Chocolate Me. Oh, it does look like Tayden's character. Okay. Chocolate Me? So now we're going to take, you don't need to put that up that high. There's no need for you to put the blue stick up that high. We're just going to put some blue on the back. And then we're going to put it on, watch out. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. So, see how I put it right here? I didn't put it at the edge, and that way I'm going to cut around the outside, and it makes like a frame on the bookmark. Ariel's dress is very pretty. Good job, Ariel. Great job. Thanks, Mari. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just say something nice. Uh, see, now show me, Abba. Mama, such a good thing. Peacock, blue, uh, king, purple. Wait. This is my person waiting at the bookshelf in Hopkins. Yeah. So, this is a job reading a book. That's me. That's you? You have blue hair? You have blue purple hair? Can you put a lid on the blue? Oh, I was trying to look at her eyes. I don't know. Okay, here's my finished bookmark. So I have the, I cut it out and then I put the frame on it. Watch out for the camera. Right? And then here's Nava's. And then here's Ariel. Ariel, you want to do the frame on yours? Nope. You don't want to make it stiffer? I want to. That's what I said. All right, well, that's what I meant. Can you pick paper up off the floor? What is this? I don't know. Can you pick paper up off the floor, please? What's going on? You guys did a really good job. Can you read yours now? What does yours say? Can you read it to them? And. Does it say Mom? Oh, so this is E-Radius? Well, we don't know this is Matthew. Matthew? Mm -hmm. Oh, understand uh, what you mm -hmm. mean, Miss Katora. Oh, I think that's understand. It looks like Jordan. Well done. I already read it. I got it. I got it. What does mine say? Today is today if ye hear his voice on it. Okay, Sean, show me your bookmark. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful words. All right, you guys, I love you to yawn back. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom. Wait this way for you. And there's Kamari's.
It says, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find him doing. All right, you guys. Love you to y'all. back. Shalom. <laughs> Why do you?